I think it's safe to say that AI or artificial intelligence holds one of the biggest opportunities of our generation. So here's how you can take advantage. If you've watched any of my content thus far, you know I talk a lot about SaaS or software as a service, and I also say that that's one of the greatest opportunities in 2023 and beyond. Now, imagine that we take these two things of no-code software and AI, and we merge them together. So when you do this, you can actually make your own no-code software that's powered by OpenAI and built off of the similar tech or the same tech as ChatGPT. And when you do this, you can build a product that solves a problem, it works effortlessly, and if you do it right, you can sell it for a high multiple. And the best part is it's actually simpler than you think. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can fine tune a GPT-3 model and then how you can connect it to a front end like Soft or Bubble, et cetera, and how you can build your own fine tuned GPT-3 model and sell it as your own software as a service. So let's dive into the video. Here's exactly what I would do first. So let's dive into it. I'm going to show you how to actually fine tune an AI model. So in this case, I'm going to be fine tuning a model to do customer support for my buddy Oliver's uh, chocolate company, Tabs. So here I'm on the Tabs uh, website and I am on the frequently asked question page. So as you can see here, we have all these different frequently asked questions and the answers to it, where is it made, how are Tabs shipped to me, et cetera, et cetera. So this is what I'm going to use. So I'm taking, this is the question and then this is the answer. Okay. And so this is the data that I'm going to fine tune the model on. And you can see that I did that here. So now we come into this sheet and you can see you have to make headers. So the original URL from the website and then question and then answer. So the question like, you know, when should I take it? And then the answer. And then what I did after that, that I'll show you is I used um, open AI to then create similar questions and then come up with its own answers to create more data sets. So let me show you that really quick. So as you can see here, then I said, generate some new variations of these exact questions and the answer that applies. Try to add as much variation to the question as possible without changing the meaning, use a comma format. And so then you can see it did this, and you can see all the different questions and answers that it came up with. And so this gave us even more data to fine tune the model on. So now we have created our data set. So the more rows that you can make the better, but as you can see here, I didn't do a ton just for the sake of time. So then what we're going to do is we are going to go over to finetuner.com. So now I'm inside of finetuner.com. And as you can see here, it's very, very easy to use. So first off, going back to here, I just came into here and I went file and I downloaded as a uh, CSV. And it's very important to also note, so it's, I have, you have to delete all these other columns. So we only need columns A, B, and C. Everyone else, everything else you're gonna delete and then you're gonna make your CSV. So I'll open up the CSV to show you guys that as well. So I'll come into here, click on this. And so now you guys can see what the CSV looks like, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here. So I uploaded my CSV and then all you have to do, so you put the right the column headers from the CSV without any spaces. So it was original URL, question, answer, just like that. And then describe in detail what you would like to build a model of. And so we are going to build a customer support bot. And then literally all you have to do is hit generate. And then it's going to tell you the estimated cost since it's connected to open AI. And you can see it's, you know, next to no money. So you're gonna hit confirm. And then you can see now it is starting to tune and it takes usually six to 12 hours for the model to fine tune. Now, luckily for this video, I've already done this. This one is ready to go. So we're gonna click on use. And so then all we have to do is here's the model that's fine-tuned, write your prompt here. And so since my header was question, colon, then I can say, so for example, um, when should I take tabs? Or actually let's do, let's do a little bit more customer support. Let's do, can I get a refund? Can I get a refund? And it loads. And now you see the answer. Unfortunately, we do not offer refunds outside of the 14 day period. We offer refunds and returns within 14 days of delivery, yada, yada, yada. 
as you can see all this different type of stuff um, so this works for anything though. So this is just one little use case and then you know I could show you how to then go into playground and actually download this code and turn this into a chatbot and I actually do show you how to do this inside of the free course that everyone gets when they sign up to finetuner.com. So if you guys want to sign up, the link will be in the description and it's you know, an exclusive offer that if you sign up now, you're gonna get a free course on not only you know how to fine tune models and how to do different use cases, but you're also gonna get you know uh, some help on how to get customers and things like that. And on top of that, HubSpot has given me access to their amazing free course on content marketing. And I'm gonna show you guys a sneak peek right now. So as you can see in HubSpot's free course, you're gonna learn how to develop a strategic process for creating high quality content that resonates with your audience, how to create a long-term plan to identify and achieve your content goals, implement the latest SEO tactics to increase your organic traffic and measure ROI through goal setting and performance tracking. Guys, this course is no joke. It's 12 lessons, 54 videos, 11 quizzes, and it's about eight hours worth of content. So the link to the description is also going to be uh, there for this free course from HubSpot. I highly recommend that you check it out and that you go through it thoroughly. So thank you HubSpot for that. So guys, you can literally fine tune a model for anything that you can create a data set for. So you could create a blog post generator for any specific niche. And then keep in mind, you don't even have to necessarily turn this into a SaaS if you don't want to. You could create a blog post generator and then you could go into your model and just create blog posts and you could sell those to businesses, whether you want to do it for e-com supplement brands or whatever niche that you're familiar with, you guys can create blog post generators. If you, you know, have a B2B business, you can create a LinkedIn post generator and you can, you know, fine tune it off of, you know, the top performing B2B posts that you can find. Um, you know, you can literally build anything. You could create a tweet generator so you can download all your tweets of CSV and you can create a tweet generator that tweets just like you. I have a lot of friends that are using that right now. So guys, there's so many different things you can do. And when you sign up, we are going to give you again, a free course on things like how to create your data sets, how to format it, how to use the tool. You know, HubSpot gave the course on how to use content marketing to get customers and drive SEO traffic. So guys, this is the easiest it's ever been. You literally, we've literally been developing this tool since February of this year and it's finally done. So that way you guys can fine tune models without needing to know how to code. We did all of that for you. So if you guys want to sign up at the lowest price that it'll ever be, the price is going to go up starting August 31st. And also we're no longer going to offer the free course then. So if you guys want a lot of help from my team, you know, we have a Slack channel for support and we also host one times a week office hours to help people fine tune their models with whatever they're having problems with, whether it's with data sets, getting customers, etc. So sign up for that as well. The link is in the description and that's it. It is actually that simple to get started of building your own no code software by just connecting to OpenAI's API to power your software. So if you create a product that genuinely solves a business or a consumer's problem, and you scale it up over a long enough period of time and get a significant amount of revenue, low churn, et cetera, you just built a business that you can exit for a large sum of money. And I'm seeing people do this left and right right now. That's why I think the combination of no code software and AI is one of the greatest opportunities that presents itself to us in 2023 and beyond. So if you want more strategies like this of how to start in software, how to market them, and just all the lessons that I've learned in the last two and a half years and after running over five software companies, I'll put the link to subscribe to my newsletter below. I send a couple emails a week to help you guys. And if you have a software idea that you want to bring to life and you want my in-house development team, my bubble developers to build it for you, and then me to also consult you on your go-to-market strategy, I'll also put a way to get in contact with me below. And besides that, I'll see you guys in the next video.